Hey guys, it's Chad here from Lou Tunes. Now, uh, before we get into some of the uh, morbid stuff, I want to tell you guys about this brand new app made for cartoon fans like us. It's called Cartoon Amino. It's a mobile community for animation fans. It's jam-packed with fun stuff from top 10 lists, fan art, animation news, and all of the cartoon gifts you can shake a stick at. You can almost watch it forever. It's also got a really cool public chat function, so you can scroll through, pick out your favorite show, and join a live chat with other fans of that show. It's super slick and easy to use, and almost feels like a mashup of Twitter and Tumblr, but all for cartoon stuff. You can also set up polls, which is really nice. I've got one running right now that you guys can vote on. The best 90s Nicktoons parents. So head on over there and download the app and follow me on there to uh, participate in the parents poll. And uh, speaking of parents... I was watching a bit of Hey Arnold the other day, as you do, and I remembered that we never really found out what happened to his parents and just how thought-provoking that kind of denial of information was. While I was on the subject, I thought further, if you take the whole decade of Nicktoons from about 1990 to 2000, there is a staggering number of parents in these shows that are divorced, missing, or dead. In fact, the prevalence of these missing parents over this specific span of years is kind of shocking. Now, I realize that I'm not really making any specific point with this video, but I kind of just wanted to round up all of the cases of this that occur during this decade and sort of think about why this was so prevalent. So let's start with some of the parents who are divorced or just not in the picture. You gotta start with As Told by Ginger, where she's basically being raised by a single divorced mom, with her dad showing up pretty scarcely, but every now and again. This show, though, you've gotta give props to for showing a pretty functional and loving divorced family. One of my favorite underrated shows, Pelswick, unfortunately, doesn't have it quite so nice. Not only has he lost the use of his legs, but his mom is completely out of the picture, never once appearing in the show in person. But because of his dad's responsible and fair personality, it's been speculated that he was granted full custody in court and the mom is unable to even visit. That's all speculation, of course, but uh, if you watch a few episodes of the show, you can't help but feel that that's probably the case. Now, you might assume that the animal-centric kind of tunes in this period will be exempt, but even in those shows, there are strange cases of absent parents. Rocco, in Rocco's Modern Life, has it a bit better than most of the characters that we'll be talking about in this video. He's got two living parents that he knows about and he knows their whereabouts in Australia, but they only appear in person on the show for about three seconds, over a total of four seasons. You may also remember The Great Parent Mystery, which was Cat Dog's only TV movie. It tells the story of how cat dogs search for their true parents, and they find them. But for many of these cartoon characters, there's not such a nice ending. Rocket Power's Raymond Rocket, aka Raymundo, lost his wife long ago, leaving him to raise his kids alone. Though he does get remarried later on in the show, much like Chucky Finster's dad did. Of course, Chucky's mom's death is probably one of the more well-known ones, probably because Klasky Chupo did such a great job showing his dad dealing with moving on, and throughout the show, Chucky himself dealing with missing her. Traveling back to Hey Arnold, which is a show filled with interesting family dynamics, Arnold is raised basically with no parents and is never given a chance to see them again. Now, this has a lot to do with the creators possibly wanting to reveal this later on, but not having the chance to do so due to cancellation. But as it stands, his parents could be dead or they could be just off on some crazy adventure, but I tend to think that they are dead, sadly. Based on the uh, two journal episodes, I just can't imagine there being any reason not to contact Arnold uh, or the grandparents. Now, last and most tragic, I think, comes from Doug, who has two parents of his own, but the object of his affection, Patty Mayonnaise, doesn't. 
Her mother was killed in a car accident, and that same car accident left her father paralyzed. And because Patty and her dad are just so nice, this just seems even more sad. Now, of course, in this 10 year span that I mentioned, there are exceptions. I mean, heck, Timmy Turner has two sets of parents. All in all, I suppose I just find it fascinating that during this specific period of time, there were actually more fractured families occurring in Nicktoons than otherwise. So why do you think this is? Are they all connected? Is there some kind of conspiracy? Eh, probably not. I'd opt more towards coincidence. After all, there's plenty of people out there living without the traditional family unit, so it's definitely neat to see that reflected in animation. So, what do you guys think of all this? It's a, kind of a sad subject, but interesting nevertheless. Let me know down in the comments, and uh, as for me, well, that's about all I got. So I'll see you guys in the next video.